Hello everyone. Today we are going to use aggregate function from SPSS data mining. This video demonstrates how to use aggregate function in SPSS. Aggregating data allows a user to calculate means, median, sum, standard deviation, minimum, maximum and other metrics across grouping variable. Variable containing the percentage or fraction of cases meeting specified criteria can also be generated. Let's get started. Uh, go to your data file. Download and go to the, your uh, open your SPSS file that is I have given in description. Open your SPSS file. Go to data menu and click on aggregate. So aggregate is a function which is used uh, when you want to aggregate your data. Uh, depending upon your grouping variable that may be a gender or may be a occupation or any other kind of uh, breaking or aggregate well, variable and you can aggregate your data your continuous data and you can calculate mean median sum standard deviation minimum maximum and other matrices across your grouping or breaking variable so as a breaking variable you will take a categorical data you can also calculate percentage or fraction within the specified criteria that we will see later okay so i have opened this aggregate data function you can see here it it is asking us to provide a breaking variable and a which variable we want to summarize or we want to aggregate so suppose for example we want to aggregate this monthly income and based upon the gender breaking variable or grouping variable we have taken as a gender all right so uh, overall if we look at this function you can save uh, the another variable into the same active data set or you can create a new data set all right so we have gender mean and you can name rename it also suppose i want to rename it as agree aggregate click ok Okay, so it has created a new variable aggregate income and it has saved our aggregated income based on the gender. So this is our gender variable and this is our aggregated income based upon the gender. So we have two gender male and female. So 7,500 and 9,500. These two aggregated income it has calculated. Suppose you want to aggregate it adding uh, another variable. You want to further group it. You want. So again you can go to aggregate. And again I can add for example suppose occupation. Current occupation click on ok so it will ask me to overwrite or another variable so let us overwrite we have 10,000, 5,000, 9,500, 5,000 so we have basically a three group of aggregated income because we have here three group because the fourth group is unemployed so that is not applicable for that so there so we have three groups of aggregated income all right so again go to aggregate click on function 
and you can have a median so now it has calculated a median you can also have minimum and maximum so first we have aggregated income based on the gender then uh, second we have uh, aggregated income based on gender uh, and their occupation so it can combine whatever variable you want to group uh, then another thing we can do with the aggregate function is uh, we can identify the number of cases and break how many cases are there based upon the current occupation gender that we wanted to break okay so we have five one two three four five 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Total 9 unemployed out of that male. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, total 5 we have a unemployed male. So it can identify the number of case for the same aggregated value okay again go back to aggregate okay, go to function okay we can identify the percentage fraction and counts okay so let us first look at the percentages value above let us say 3000 click ok professional male professional male income more than so it is only one that is why it is counted as 100 percent then 75 percent 75 75 let us look at this data 75 so laborer female this group is laborer female having income more than 3000 so there are th uh, three female laborer and income is having more than 3000 or four so that is why it has calculated 75 percent so you can specify that percentage in this using this function data aggregate function you can also have a fraction counts suppose i want to have a count about three thousand continue so now it has calculated a count for the specific grouping and the breaking summarizing variable all right so this is very uh, useful function it you can create a new data set or you can have that variable in the same data set Thank you.